Are you close to your siblings? Do you have a relationship with them? After all, they are your relations. Okay, that's a little funny. When I was growing up, I adored both my brother and sister. I still do. But when I was young, I worshipped them. I think about that as I watch my grandchildren quarrel and fight. I don't remember having that kind of relationship with my bro and sis. I'm sure we fought and got on each other's nerves. Maybe it was a little bit different because I was so much younger than them. They were born 11 months apart. My sister was not planned, my mother always said. My brother, the first male in a Latin family, was spoiled and cooed over and loved. And then, so was my sister. That was it. My parents didn't want any more children. But we were Catholic, and the church frowned on birth control. My mom and dad used what they called the rhythm method. That's only having sex when my mom wasn't ovulating. <laughs> These are facts I don't care to remember, but it's important to my story. Because four years after my mother swore there would be no more children, I was born. This is Gloria Moraga's One on One, a show designed to improve face-to-face -face communication in the digital age. This episode of One on One is called Just a Few Words About My Sister. I was the baby in a close-knit family. I was spoiled and pampered and loved, and I loved being me. Which brings me back to my sister. My sister is the woman I always wanted to be. She is beautiful, kind, and funny, and giving. She is loved. She is loved by her husband, her children, and grandchildren, and so many close friends. And of course, she is loved by me, her younger sister. It's safe to say I would not have survived my childhood, my teen years, or even my adulthood without my sister. She has saved me from myself more than once. When she was 16 and I was 12, she would help me with my hair, my makeup, my clothes. She took me to my first horror movie. It was Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, and it's still one of my most favorite movies of all time. She never made me feel like an annoying young pest. And I'm sure I was. <laughs> Probably still am. We were different. She had a million boyfriends. I had none. I spent most of my time in the library. And when I wasn't there, I was singing show tunes. She attended parties and dances. She was the beauty in the family. I was the smart one. But expectations for me were low. My brother and sister were the stars of the family. I wasn't jealous. Neither were they. We were close. When I had surgery on my leg at Shriners Hospital in San Francisco, it was my brother and sister who drove the three hours to pick me up when I was discharged. We had planned a big day out to celebrate my release. Instead, when my cast was removed from my leg, I was in so much pain, I could barely make it to the back seat of my parents' Chevy. Yes, we had a Chevy. We couldn't celebrate. We didn't care. We were together. My sister was the one who washed my leg and shaved it and slathered it in lotion when we got home. When our mother was dying from stomach cancer, the two of us took turns caring for her. We watched our beloved mother die together. We were the two who went to the church and the funeral home to make arrangements for her services and burial. The men in our lives were not there, but my sister and I were. I couldn't have survived that death without the help of my sister. When I was six months pregnant and had a miscarriage, she hopped on a plane and flew to Washington, D.C., to be with me and help me through that horrible, depressing time, coming home with no baby. My sister was there, though, 
When I adopted a baby girl, she grabbed another plane and flew to Washington to help me with my new six-day-old baby girl. When my marriage was falling apart, it was my sister who knew what I was going through, what I was enduring for the sake of my child and my marriage vows. She was the only one who knew how miserable I was and why I stayed, and finally, why I left. She lives in Fresno. I live in Elk Grove. We are two hours apart. The damn pandemic has kept us from visiting each other and celebrating our birthday months together. My birthday is in April. Hers is in May. When this is over, we plan to celebrate together. Like in years past, going to the spa, going to lunch, to the casino, gambling, having fun, laughing like the girls we once were. Thank you, sis, for everything. And happy birthday. I'm so glad we were both born. Are you close to your siblings? Do you talk to them? Visit them? Confide in them? Please do. There's nothing like it. And you'll be glad you did. And Gloria Moraga, this is one-on-one. -on -one communications in the digital age and this is just a few words on my sis